Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Arise with Alex for Tea Games. On the last episode, we headed out of Ulzebek because we met. No, oh, sorry. We met a young girl who was lost and collapsed after we went to the Gates of Fire. So we decided, oh dear, we need to find her some medicine. We found her some medicine and then she woke up and told us, or we learned anyway, that she is called Rimwell. She is from the neighbouring area called Cislodia and she is part of their resistance. And she came to us to establish contact. So we're going to go and help them with their resistance because we want to save more people from being enslaved. And thus we are heading over to Cislodia. Um, of course, Rinwell is having a bit of a time because she can't trust Shion for obvious reasons. Anyway, that's about all that happened last time. Let's go ahead and leave this. Oh yeah, we also went through these ruins to get to Cislodia. Cisodia is right up ahead. Let's go, shall we? <laughs> so this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Shion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. Don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that, and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. Yeah, you gotta be friendly with your new friend, Alfin. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? Good question, Rimwell. I honestly don't know. <laughs> I think he'll be fine. We do actually have a skit here. Sneaky Rinwell. Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way! I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering, how'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed. She's hiding something. I have a few theories, but I'm not going to say anything right now because I'm curious and still considering. We do have yet another skit here. We seem to get a lot of new skits in new areas. Temperature control. It's crazy to feel just how much the temperature has changed from crossing over a single peak. Is it really that big of a difference? Definitely. 
Calaglia was hot. I can only tell from appearance, so... Huh? Huh? Achoo! You might not be able to feel it, but it sure looks like your body responds to it just the same. Seems like it. So if I sneeze, I guess that it's a sign that it's getting chilly. They say that sneezing is often the first sign you're coming down with the cold, too. That's all the more reason you need to be careful with... Was that also a sneeze? I just bit my tongue, that's all. No, it sounded a lot different from mine, but I could swear it was still... It wasn't a sneeze, okay? <laughs> Guess we both need to be careful out here in the cold. Oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, though, no, okay. But... I guess you can't feel a temperature as well, or is it just like extreme temperature that you can't feel? Because you can't feel, you can't feel pain. You couldn't feel it when it was hot, but that makes sense because like burning fire hot. And you can't feel it when it's freezing bitterly cold. Does that mean it's just like extreme temperatures that you can't feel, or can you just not feel temperature at all? Is that fully what it is? That sword on his back always hot? And he just can't feel it? I have so many questions. Anyway, we have yet another skit here. Birth of a hero. <sighs> Is it hard leaving Calaglia behind? No. Actually, it's kind of a relief to be away from there. Really? What makes you say that? Because it was getting to the point where every man, woman, and child would come up and talk to me like they knew me. I could barely find a moment to breathe. Let alone relax. Well, what you did was kind of a big deal, you know. You overthrew a Renan Lord and burst open the gates of fire. Yeah, but that was only because I had the Blazing Sword with me. We wouldn't have made it to Balsef without you and the Crimson Crow, Zephyr. Well, maybe so. But you're still the one who took him out in the end. It's only natural for people to look up to those who protect them. You're a hero to those people. I never asked to be one. I... I never asked to take the place of a lord in people's minds. I don't want it. You're a strange one, Alfin. That's for sure. <laughs> if that's how you really feel, then hold on to that. Listen to those thoughts when you feel lost and don't know what to do. If you can do that, you won't lose sight of who you are, or what the right path to take is. The right path to take, huh? Good guy Zephyr seems to have a, a very mentorly role, and that just makes me worried for him. I feel like something bad's gonna happen to him. Oh god, he's a good guy, and I'm worried for him. I guess we'll find out as the game goes on, but like, man, you can't just be a good person in these types of games. Uh, oh, the singles either way. Let's go this way first. I don't know which way the right way is. Oh, okay. They will kind of... Err... Uh, yeah, they connect. That's the word. I'll just fight the Zoogles. This ice wolf. Aha! Uh -huh. Normally I don't pick on the weak. Hey. I'm only daring I was gonna say that should be your weakness, you freaking... I didn't actually mean to do that in the air. These little ones are hardly worth our time. I'm sure I can put this to use. They were weak to fire. We are basically the fire people, as far as I can tell. So, oh, there's gonna be a lot of these things, huh? That was almost too easy. I do like this battle system, and also playing as Shion is fun. Uh, I'll maybe change back over to Alphen later. Um, I would also like some new party members that I could try out their stuff. That would be fun. Game, please. <laughs> oh, it's mouse. They seem like they would be difficult to grow in this kind of cold. Let me know if you're struggling. I keep missing the thing to do strike, the boost link. I keep missing that. 
which is really sad because they look very cool. I noticed the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. That makes a lot of sense. Uh... Oh, so was that a cliff? Oh, okay. So we just ran down the cliff instead of jumping straight off of it, which we could have done. I see. But I got some tomatoes out of it. Now I'm going to go back. Because <laughs> I want to see if there's anything over that way. What if there's an owl? Now I hope there's an owl. That went. Another notch in the old belt. Keep him coming. You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. Well, I'm glad that he's having a good time. What's this thing? What was I gonna say? I don't remember. It can't have been important. Okay, so that's the way to get down there. Is there anything else over here I'm like, good? It's like a little apple view, but there's nothing here. You would think like maybe an owl. I guess there's not an owl here though. Okay. Whee! Ah, guess I misread the landing. Yeah, this is fine. I don't think he took any damage. Did they take fall damage? I don't know. I've been jumping off of high things and not really checking whether they're getting hurt by it. Um, they might actually be taking fall damage. And I just would not know. Uh, hold on, yoink. Okay, hi. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. One of these days I'll actually remember to press the button for the boost strike. I missed it again. There's a cabin here. Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Hey. Got room for a few more? Mm-hmm. This fire here passes no judgment. All are welcome to bask in its warmth. Hey! Alvin, wait! Did you forget what I said before? I know. I only want to learn a little more about our new realm. I see you've got a lot of luggage with you. What are you hauling around there? They're full of wares to sell, like medicine. Plus my tools that I use to make accessories out of ore from time to time. Oh? Did you say accessories? You mean people down here on Donna wear them too? Now I'm intrigued. Just how good of a craftsman are you? I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to see some of your handiwork for myself. Whoa! What? Ah, I see. Metal engraver. This metal engraver can craft accessories for you using ore that you mine from mining points. Once you strengthen an accessory and activate new skills for it, you can even transfer those skills to a completely different accessory altogether. Whoa! Uh, you can use ore to craft accessories. Once you select an accessory to craft, choose the ore you wish to use as its material. The rarity and any bonus skills belonging to that ore will then be carried over to the accessory that is created. Uh, ores can possess up to four skills with rare ores offering more skills. To activate these bonus skills, the, ac the accessories crafted from ores must be enhanced. Okay, this is stuff I didn't actually do at all in the demo because I did not look at the accessory stuff, but this is cool. I have a lot of ores, so... Especially these antidote rocks, so I guess a poison charm would probably be my best bet right now. Err, uh, so I'll make one of those. Oh. Oh, right, and they all have different skills. Because of... stuff and things. So most of mine don't actually have any skills. But these ones have paralysis, light, curse, resistance. Huh. Well, I don't have anyone who does light damage right now, do I? Because Shion does fire and electric, as far as I can tell. I don't know what Alpha does, to be honest. I saw some wind stuff. Err, uh, paralysis resistance. Christ resistance. Err, uh, I think I'm going to put on paralysis resistance because paralysis is a really annoying thing to deal with. 
Enhancing accessories. Enhancing an accessory raises its level and activates bonus skills. Doing so requires ore rather than other add other accessories. The rarer both of these things are, the greater the target accessory will level up when enhanced. Huh. So if I go to enhance and I try to enhance this, I can use a bunch of these. Oh, I can use anything if I wanted to. Huh. And it's going to cost more and more the more stuff I use. Right. And I can only use five right now. Okay. Well, we might as well do that. So, okay. Cool. I can't enhance it anymore then. I see. Huh. That's interesting. I'll mess around with this a little bit. Um... I mean, I could get a shock charm, sure. Err... Uh, oh, this is a better ore. I should do the one with the three then, because that's way better. And then, if I do enhance... See, this isn't telling me... Yeah, this isn't telling me which ones have skills on it anymore. Right, I see. So I might have accidentally gotten rid of ones with skills. I'll just go down to the bottom of the thing and use... Err... Uh, is it parallax stones that I was using? Oh, I only have two. Well, I guess I'll just use these two. Can I use antidote rocks? They also work. Okay. I have so many of them. I mean... Should I just use all of my antidote rocks? I have so many. Yeah, sure, why not? Nice. Huh. And then I might as well sell my commodity as well here. That's cool though, and then th they probably sell for a lot more than the ores themselves, right? Yeah, the materials are only 15, but if you make them into something, then they'll, they're gonna be worth quite a bit more. Huh, nice. That's, that's actually really interesting. Hmm? What do you think? Did I pass your test? Right. It's decent enough, I suppose. Not the prettiest thing I've ever seen, but it looks practical at least. If I come across any ore, I might be back. Until then, you better work on upping your game. Mm-hmm. I appreciate the feedback, lady. I won't let you down. <sighs> you should be calling out Xion yourself, not me, Rinwell. I don't want to talk to her. You do it, Alfin. What? All right. Hmm. It's cold out here. Let's sit down and eat something so we can warm up. Good idea, but I'm not that hungry. Well, you should never go into battle on an empty stomach, and you can never tell when the enemy is going to attack, so... Hmm? Shion, you don't have to beat around the bush. It's okay to admit you're hungry. What other reason do you have to eat? Ah, uh, fine. Just great. On second thought, we need to eat, you guys. All right. I'll fix us all something good then. How about a regular repast among us crimson crows? Redwell did not look amused. <laughs> nice. What a meal! You're a way better chef than I figured it'd be, Zephyr. Right. Yeah, it was good. Thank you. I'm glad to hear you both liked it. Right. Want another plate? Like I said, it's not good to fight on an empty stomach. I, uh, I'm good. She- She on. Eat the damn stuff or I'll throw it away. Alright, if you insist. After that, it took three tries making the same thing before Shion was finally satisfied. <laughs> we got vegetable soup. <laughs> Fair enough. Happy now, Shion? Yeah, I'd say so. She'd better be, after all she ate. I stopped before I was full, though. What? <laughs> oh, she has a bottomless stomach, I see. <laughs> That's kind of fun. Okay. Err, uh, okay, hold on. Should I go to my equipment? Do I have anything? 
Oh, okay. I don't really want to change any of their equipment, but that does mean that I have accessories for when people need them. What's what's the cabin? Oh, it's just some random cabin? With, we're just gonna steal things? We're just gonna steal some of their chicken? That That's a bit rude, but okay. I guess we just stole someone's chicken. Oh well. <laughs> okay, off we go. Okay, I don't think there's anything else we need to do necessarily, so... Also, like, this place at night always looks gorgeous. Ugh, and like the ice over there? Dang, this map is so cool. Okay, uh, I guess we need to head this way to get over to where we need to go. Uh, what is that? What is that? Is it just this? Okay. Weird little out thingy on the map. Oh well. Uh, <laughs> just the shapes on the mini map are sometimes a little weird. Like of the land. It's hard to figure out what it is. I'm not looking at the mini map too much, but. Oh, what's this? Apples? Oh, nice! I got four apples! Err. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to fight these hawks, probably. Everything's coming up, Zephyr. I did hit the the button to do the strike thing this time, but it didn't do it because freaking Alvin killed it at the same time. Ugh. One of these days. One of these days. Freaking fight me. Oh, I got a new thing. Emblem chained Alvin blazing bow blow. Cool. Awesome. That must mean he's used that a few times. He could get one of them already, but some of them are quite a bit more expensive. Uh, I'll take a look at that later. You know, the nicest thing is being able to run through those bushes. That That's nice. Because uh, sometimes they don't let you run through bushes, which is annoying because then you have to run around them all the time. Uh, there's a oh dear. I can feel my precision improving. Oh, nice! They leveled up! Legit, every single time, every single time that the strike thing becomes available, the enemy dies right after the strike thing comes up. Ugh. Oh, misjudged that land. I... Uh, did I just come here down for, for, Ros for Rosemary? Oh, fair enough, I guess. Oh, these leaves are a really pretty colour. Ooh. Do you think the foliage here is healthier? I think it would be because it's not on fire all the time. Hmm. Oh, hello, Ziggles. Don't mind me, honestly. Like, I'm just passing through. Ooh. Ooh, hello. What's this? More tomatoes? No, potatoes. Ooh. Oh, what are you? Don't get careless. Berserker. Ooh. Oh, here, heal. Let me help. There we go. I know how you use Shion. Look, I'm a healer! I'm a healer, but. <laughs> oh, hello. Don't mind me. I'm just, uh. This is fine. Also, one thing I noticed is that I never got a tutorial on how to escape battle. I'm assuming you just do the thing that you did um, in Brazaria. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. See you continue on in that vein. Uh, yes, my lady. Something you wanted to say? Okay, <laughs> these conversations are great. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm taking you're supposed to just do the same thing as you did in Brazaria. Oh. This ends now. Consider yourself finished. That's some power you wield. You're the one who did the heavy lifting. Well, that was cool. I got two of the strike things. I guess the more I complain, the more thing? I might actually get to do it. I got some lettuce as well. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I take it you just run to the end of the... 
or the border around the, the battle and then maybe it'll <sighs> let me escape. I misread the landing. I've never had to escape because the battles have been okay because I'm on normal mode. Um, yeah, I'm just uh, not looking forward to the spike in difficulty that will eventually come probably. Possibly when I decide, hey, let's go ahead and <laughs> up the difficulty even though we're not ready. Um, yeah. I don't know. I need to figure out what the best grinding method is before I go up in the difficulty, I think, because I don't know what the best way to do grinding in this game is. Because uh, I think you have to grind around your own level and uh, I think if you don't cart a bunch of enemies into your battle, then it'll get less EXP because you've got less enemies. That's what I figured out so far. Hmm. We'll learn eventually. Not another owl will die. Houses in a place like this. People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The snake eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Oh, well, that's rich, coming from the bright eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. <laughs> now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. Thinking and making decisions for yourself, and being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah, I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? Looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sislodan. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... you've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Damn those Renans. I hate seeing Ganon suffering under them here too. I'm surprised you're so angry about it. You're not even from here. It doesn't matter where I'm from. Enough is enough with these people. I need something to eat. <laughs> you just ate! <laughs> <laughs> and that was coming off of a very emotional scene where he was like, no, I need to keep fighting and be my own master. Uh, I, I do like actually that, uh, again, I'm sensing all of the red flags with Zephyr, but like him be like, you don't need to do this because other people are telling you to do this because you want to kind of thing. Uh Man, I just like this game a lot so far. <laughs> All right, Lego.
Silence embedded. Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm. <clears throat> Damn it. Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! Ah! What? Leave him alone! <sighs> An embedded dares defy the orders of his lordship! Know your place, slave! We can't use the Blazing Sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? The realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Oh! Zephyr? What the hell? Zephyr! Here they come! I, uh, I maybe should have healed. And, um, oh god. I, um, oh god. I didn't expect a boss battle. Which I really should have, honestly. Oh well, this is fine. So, hold on, can he... Oh, he's just gonna use his normal boost instead of the... Ow. Okay, listen, that was rude. So, it's genuinely not letting us use the... What's it called? The flaming sword. Are you trying to get caught? I'm sure that could be arranged. Not if I can help it. Yeah, I'm so curious. Is he not fighting at all? Is Zephyr not fighting at all? Oh, this is interesting. Oh. going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you- Please. It won't work, you know. You never change, do you? You've always got that damn knowing look on your face! I got it handled. But he just... He's my son. Oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! Enemy reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. You can't... I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time. But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you. Forgive me. <laughs>
We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called bright eyes after all. Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family, my people, were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Danon Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night, after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of times passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically, it's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside.
even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did. It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. You befriended Ridwell! Zephyr left your party. Vegetable juice recipe! <laughs> oh, Ridwell's perk! Ma oh, magic charging! While casting an art, press and hold the art button to delay activation until you let go. You can also press R1 in this state to save it for later and charge it. Charge arts activate after your next attack art and can be used in combos. If you cast the same art as the one currently charged, they'll combine it into a higher tier spell. Oh, cool. These can include uh, arts that Ridwell has yet to learn or trigger with specific combinations. So experiment and see which different pair, what different pairs yield. I am excited. Press and hold the R button to delay activation until you let it go. Or press R1 to save it for later. That's cool. Cool. Cool will alert you when there is an owl on the map. One tip for fighting owls is that the closer you are to one, the more Hootle reacts. That's... I wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they shouldn't be rough with him. I don't want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Can Danans enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on either side, though. So why is Zephyr's kid working for the Renans, then? Good question. I'm so curious about law. I'm really curious. <laughs> um, we have Redwell now. <gasps> oh, cool. Oh, the menu changed. Oh. Oh, I guess it's going to change for each part of the game. Because, like, they were advertising this whole thing as, like, pairs. So, like, you got Sheehan and Alpha and, and then Redwell and Law. And then the other two. Because even in the demo, like, each one was by pairs. So I guess for each kind of pair's arc, it's gonna have them on the main- Oh, that's so cool. We have Ridwell though as well, I'm so happy. I, I'm so excited to play as her. Um, So, our, I mean, that's her status thing. Our, I wanted to actually play as her for a bit and see if I can anyway. Oh, oh, whoops, I clicked the wrong thing. Our, yeah, I'm gonna play as her for a little bit. I might not be very good at it, but we'll see. Oh, whoops. So, air thrust, spread, photon flash. She's only got the three arts. Uh, but that's good to know. So I've got wind, water. Uh, do I want to change where these are? I kind of do. I want spread. No, actually, no, I'll leave them. I'll leave them like that for now. Also, the fact that Hootle will alert you to other owls is very useful. <laughs> All right, we have another skit here, magic practice. All of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection... What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. I, I don't think that they ended up anywhere good. That is such an interesting thing though. I did wonder because obviously I knew that she existed from the demo and everything and I knew that she used astral arts so I was thinking how how could Danon use something that is typically used by Renans but it makes sense that they have this whole mage thing. I'm so curious about everything. Also the dark I think makes sense because like if we're in an ice area it's ice astral energy so it needs to be cold and dark for dice to prosper, if that makes sense. I think it just makes sense for astral energy. I don't know. We have another skit here, Ties That Bind. Hey, 
So, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah. Sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Ugh. Easy, Shion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. I love who all. <laughs> I really love who all. <laughs> you know the best thing about who all is that he's a mascot character, but he's not talking. Because <laughs> sometimes when mascot characters talk, it just ruins the whole thing. But who all's great. I love him. All right, we have another skit here. Blending in. Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crap! Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Renwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is. All I see is snow. Dan and Owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle! Huh. Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond at least. Got it. Thanks. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. That's quite a relief. Hmm. I love Hootl. <laughs> I think that Shion might have a soft spot for Hootl as well. Anyway, I'm gonna go and find a fight. Because I want to test out Ridwell's mage abilities. Also, all of these decided to respawn, so let me just pick those up. Oh, this music is so dang good. Okay, okay. Let's go and fight these hawks. Hi! Fight me! Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. Okay, her arts are pretty easy to use. I didn't try out any magic. Oh, okay. I, I want to see this skit here. Magic Thief. Enemies who can cast Astral Arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt Astral Arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. Really? Then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal astral energy, the enemy will lose focus, which means they can't cast anything else for a while. So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. It's actually something of a secret technique within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me. Oh my god, how do I do that? <laughs> I am very happy that that's a thing. It's like Spell Absorber in, Bra in Braseria. Ah. Oh. That's so cool! Or at least that's how it sounds anyway. I don't know how to do it, but that sounds very cool. Oh, hello, Ziggles. Let's dispose of the trash. Oh! Oh. Oh. Here's a 
Magic is in! Cover the casters! <laughs> Cover the casters. How do I use that spell? Ah! I don't know how I use the spell that I've stored. Hmm. Oh, we have a yet yeah, another skit here. Rinwell's ace. Hey, Rinwell. Do you always have to say an incantation before you cast an art? Yeah. They don't really add any extra power or anything, but reciting them is what allows the astral energy to come together and flow through me. It takes time to complete, but they're what lets me use such strong magic in the first place. What happens if someone interrupts you while you're in the middle of chanting? Then I have to start over from the beginning. As soon as my concentration breaks, any astral energy I've accumulated disperses. Got it. So once you start reciting, that's our cue to make sure that no enemies can get near enough to disrupt you. Yeah, that would be appreciated. Although, I do have one fun trick up my sleeve. Once I finish chanting a full incantation, I can hold on to a single astral art without casting it right away. So once the astral energy's in place, you can choose to set it off whenever you want? That's amazing. Yeah. I don't fully have the hang of it just yet, but I'm sure it'll come in handy sooner or later. I don't have the hang of it yet either, Redwell, but hey, we'll learn together. <laughs> oh man, I actually really like playing as her so far, but like, we'll see, we'll see. Er, uh, hi there. Oh. Well then, let's keep moving. Oh, I only got one of the hawks there. Huh. Yeah, I've still got a lot to learn with Redwell <laughs> about her arts and stuff. Hmm. I'll figure them out eventually. But for now, I think am I being followed? Okay. I think we're actually gonna have to end it off there. I don't want to run on too long. So hi, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to let me know down below what you thought of everything that happened in this episode here today, including me meeting well, we already met around well. Uh heading towards Cislodia, our uh, meeting law and finding out about that. Uh, finding out some more about Rinwell? Yeah, if you have any thoughts, feel free to let me do double if you feel like it. I am so excited to see where this is all going to go. I'm oh, I'm having such a good time. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you have a great day, night, or whatever the time is for you. And I will see you next time. <laughs>